Time to play with some clay. All right, tonight's going to be the exciting night of uh, working on this clay. I'm going to do as long as I can. It's 10 o'clock in the evening. And uh, let's see, actually 10.18. <sighs> I'm going to be doing uh, this, a tobacco pouch, which will hang from his neck. And there's a loop that uh, would fit through a hole in the... Uh, pouches uh, flat that the pipe, the clay pipe, could fit down into that would lock the uh, the flap closed to protect the tobacco. And then I'm going to do uh, the uh, shot pouch and powder horn and I might add some detail to the, the uh, shot pouch, I don't know. It just depends that everything I do from here on is going to cost money. Uh, we'll add to whatever cost I've already got. It probably won't add that much, uh, especially if I do it in the right way. And so that's what I'm going to attempt to do. The first thing I'm going to do is the uh, pouch. I know it's kind of small, but uh, I don't know how better to light it. Up. Maybe a little side light. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pipe. Would have been a certain size. They traded clay pipes out on the old frontier and with the Indians. The mountain men had them too. And actually, looks to me that this uh, pouch would have been bigger. So I'm going to do that. Because for, for it to uh, fit on there comfortably, it would have to be about that size. So I'm going to spread it out and uh, round it off a little bit. Give it a nice... Uh, shape to it. Again, I would think that uh, this would be a waterproof clay, I mean, uh, leather that the uh, tobacco would be in. And uh, the weight of the tobacco after time would uh, cause the uh, leather to uh, stretch a little bit where it's hanging off of his neck. And I'm going to make the uh, pouch flap.
And I'm going to put the pipe as close to the top edge of the uh, pouch as I can. I'm going to give it just a little bit of a hole in the uh, top of the uh, pouch. I mean, uh, the pipe. I don't want to do too big a hole because then that starts involving casting problems. And from the front, it'll look like it goes down, but uh, in reality, it doesn't. I don't want it too long. I want to keep it short. Just a pipe that he'd pull out and take a couple of puffs on at night or when he's relaxing or when he gets a chance to. Now to make the fringe, and I've got to make it in such a way that uh, they can cast it. So I'm going to press it on the back. This is where it gets really touchy because if you've got tight detail like this is, you don't want to press too hard on the front. So you got to be careful where you press and you got to press to be able to blend the clay in.
make the powder horn while I've got everything set up here. I'm not going to have the whole powder horn showing, so I'm just going to have the uh, upper part of it. Okay, working, on, working on the powder horn now. And I've got to make the uh, part that would uh, measure out the uh, powder. And I've got to make a division there. I've made powder horns out of a uh, cow horn, which more than likely would be what they would use. And uh, what you would do is you'd boil it and it would soften up the horn and uh, you could do some things with it. Okay, we make a small this front part or the tip of the uh, powder horn would be more than likely carved out of wood. I gotta do it this way. This uh, is the side that's gonna be showing. Tip and uh, make a plug. Now the picture doesn't show a uh, string on this plug, but there would be a string on it uh, because uh, you wouldn't want to lose your plug. Flatten that out just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now put a hole in it. And that's where I'm going to attach my thong that will attach to the horn. So when he pulls out the plug for the powder, the, the uh, plug will just hang from the horn. <coughs> now, the uh, horn would be hung by a strap. Now I'm going to make a strap. Let's see. careful with that. Okay. I'm going to flatten that out.
I gotta fill in behind this fringe here because <coughs> it's sticking out away from his body and I want to keep it that way because it gives it depth and this fringe will be closer to his body so I'm not going to worry about that as much uh, I'll leave that tonight and see what I feel about it tomorrow. All right. Good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.